Hey everybody. Hey, it's um, it's me. It's Saul. Um, I uh, I've been doing uh, these fifty minute um, consulting calls. I open up my calendar and uh, uh, basically anybody can book fifty minutes of my time. I've done about one hundred and twenty of them right now, and I'd say the overall majority um, of these calls come down to uh, what should I be doing to market my company right now, and it's it's. It's interesting. I, I have a lot of opinions on this. You, uh, you know, regular regular listeners or viewers of uh, my little little you know things here know that um, I have a lot of opinions on everything. So um, I'm going to share them with you. Check this out. I'm going to turn on, uh, make the light a little brighter here. Um, as you see, I'm wearing the bucket hat. the The hair is in full bucket hat mode right now. So um, so hey. What should marketers do in times of fear? I don't like to 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 use the word fear, but that's that's what people have been um, sort of using on uh, me. So I, I'm going to tell you, I've got a bunch of uh, ideas and then a little bit of a a step by step guide of what you should do. Um, one thing I'm going to say is stop um, selling your product um, unless your product actually adds value right now. There is a million other things as a brand you could be doing um, to really get um, people's attention right now. And just, you know, hard sell isn't the, the thing unless, like, you fit into a very, very small amount of categories. I, I posted something on LinkedIn the other day where I, I, I sort of gave a shout out to Carnival Cruise Lines. And I said, because uh, it, it came from the fact that um, I've been on a carnival cruise, you know, pay, you know, fun ship. And, um, and I've been getting a bombardment of emails and I even got a phone call from my, my account rep basically offering me like a $50 cruise. And in any other time of the year, a $50 cruise would be unheard of and amazing. But like, I think we can all agree. None of us are going on cruises right now, even if, you know, even if, you know, it, it's a week from now or a month from now. We're not thinking about getting on cruises with all the bad press that cruises got. So I, I on LinkedIn, I reached out and I said, you know, hey, Carnival Cruise, instead of trying to sell cruises right now at a, at a ridiculously low price, you have thousands and thousands and thousands of photographs that you've been trying to you, tr you take pictures of people on the boat and you know who they are because you've got all their contact information. You've got the, the pictures are tagged to the person and their their suite number and all this stuff reach out to everybody and give them all their pictures for free. And the reason you do that is you shouldn't be selling your cruises right now. You should be selling the memories. You should be selling the fun. You should be selling a distraction from what's going on in the world. And, you know, that will pay dividends to you. Um, stop selling and blindly pushing your product and pretending that nothing's wrong. You should absolutely um, not pretend that the world has changed. Recognize the world has changed. So how are you going to do that? Well, one, you know, really invest in, in your content creation right now because, you know, no one's going outside. If, you know, if you have a user conference, it's probably canceled. Um, you know, no one's getting on planes to do golfing, you know, meetings and stuff like that. So, um, you know, this is the time to invest in your content creation. And, you know, how you do that is, you know, number one, top of the list is, um, you know, create stuff of value. It shouldn't be self-serving. It shouldn't be, you know, look at me and we're wonderful and we had a great year. Uh, it should be helpful. A lot of companies are benefiting right now from, um, you know, explaining work from home strategies. A lot of people are talking about, you know, how to take advantage of some of the subsidies and things like that. It, you know, be helpful, but make it relevant to your business because, like, this is a way you know, that you should be using this. This is like a, a quiet, you know, sort of very casual sales process. You want to stay top of mind. You want to stay in, in you know, top of mind is so important. So um, create content of value. The other thing you should do, and I've been telling everybody, and this falls into the category of um, the carnival, is, um, you know, when I started my, my public speaking career, uh, like a decade ago, the first uh, first talk I ever gave was called Making Love to Your Customers. And, um, you know, like 
I've always believed that and, and, you know, and I've, I've taken it literally and figuratively, uh, but you know, now is the time. My advice is everybody should be reaching out to their customers, checking in, seeing how they're doing. You don't have to sell literally just like checking them. I've been saying for a decade now, you should know um, your first hundred customers um, by first name. So if you have more than a hundred customers, you should know your best hundred customers by first name. You should like do just a quick temperature check. Where's their anxiety? How are they personally? Um, you know, what's going on in their life? Is there something you can uh, help them with that isn't necessarily, you know, it, it's a little outside of the normal scope of things because the world is different. Um, I talked about this uh, already with content, but man, you got to reconsider your marketing mix. Uh, I still think that there's an amazing opportunity right now for advertising uh, because ad engagement is through the roof. But again, I I'll tell you all the time, I don't believe in absolutism for anything. So, you know, it should you be advertising right now? Kind of depends on what your product is, kind of depends on what your industry is, kind of depends on stuff right now. I, um, I was watching TV the other day and I saw um, uh, Expedia has uh, had bought every ad on, I don't remember what show I was watching, but it was like, it wasn't on the PVR. It was now, it wasn't, you know, something I was watching from six weeks ago or seven weeks ago. And they had blanketed all the TV shows for this one night with Expedia ads. And the ads were pretending like the world hadn't changed. So I would have, um, uh, so if you were to ask me, should Expedia be advertising? Yes, they should be advertising. But their ad should be more about, um, you know, recognizing what's going on. They should be talking about how they're helping people with either refunds or changes or, you know, um, helping people there. And they should be reinforcing the message that um, when the world resumes, we'll be here for you. Don't don't send these ads talking about dream vacations because immediately zone out. Nobody cares. Nobody's thinking about it right now. They Their message should be. Um, we got you and we're going to be here for you uh, when you're back. And right now, if you've got 25 business travel tickets booked with us, we're going to make sure that, you know, you're taken care of and all that stuff is looked after. Um, and they miss that opportunity. I've, uh, I, I kind of half joked about this for uh, on a couple of posts and things, but I'm, I'm, I'm not really that joking. KFC pulled their, um, they pulled their finger licking good campaign. Uh, slogan they've been using forever and should they have pulled it well yeah it's it's a little weird right now um but they missed a real great opportunity to kind of do a marketing um campaign and and psa all the time at the same time where if they had just changed their finger licking good to finger washing good they'd be heroes and the reason kfc can get away with that is they've already established that they take a lot of risks with their messaging. They've already established they have a sense of humor by using people like Norm Macdonald and and Daryl Hammond and and George uh, uh, Hamilton and all these people. You know this revolving door of of people as as uh, the colonel in their ads. Um, that would not be tone deaf for a brand like KFC. It might be tone deaf for someone who hasn't established their brand uh, with a baseline of humor. And, and things like that. But you have to, like, brands should be out there. Brands should be front and center right now, but they have to just reconsider what their message is, make it appropriate, make it helpful, make it funny, do something like that, um, because it's so important. So when, when people ask me, well, you know, this is hard. How do I know what kind of messaging I should be put out? Here is my five-step <laughs> plan on how to get um, the proper messaging. Um, one, you have to be, be optimistic. Don't be doom and gloom. Don't add misery. Don't, you know, whatever. You watch the news right now and it's awful and it's horrible. And, and you know, it's like it's, it's raising people's anxiety and nerves, nervousness. So as a brand, you should be optimistic. Um, use optimism as your differentiator. Show, how pe show people how things could be at the end of all this. You know, humans are adaptable. We have learned to live through really hard times. Um, but it's not the brand's point to point out these hardships. That'd be ridiculous. So um, be optimistic is number one. Number two is use humor. Finger washing good is perfect. 
Um, why? Well, one, because I thought about it, but it also speaks to the situation. It doesn't pretend things are okay. Uh, but at the same time, it's going to make people smile, probably share it with a friend. And it really makes KFC far more human through an inhuman situation. Um, brands should really be thinking about how do they make themselves a little bit more human uh, through all of this stuff. And, you know, it's like, you know, we, we have a responsibility to create a little happiness right now. And I, I believe that. So um, number three is patriotism. It doesn't matter if you support or believe um, the people running whatever country you live in. In times like this, companies need to be patriotic and support the people. Um, if your company supports local or national economy, explain how. Uh, but mostly make sure you're doing things to help people around you, even if it's just your immediate staff. Um, it's so important that not only you treat your customers properly right now, it's, it's very important uh, to make sure that you are treating um, your employees well. And obviously, if you're in certain industries, there's not a lot you can do. Um, but how brands act right now will be remembered. That includes how they treat their employees. That includes a lot of different things. It is tough being a brand right now. There are, like, there are brands that are going to live through this and be prosperous, and there are brands that are going to die. But I guarantee you, if you take the proper steps, you will be okay, and it's really important. Um, going back to the carnival, this is number four. Create, in, in new, create new and remind people of old memories. Um, nostalgia is a very, very powerful thing. Similar to being optimistic, you should offer comfort by reminding your customers of how you were before all this happened. Um, time shared, remind them that you're looking forward to when things are all going to return. And make sure, just like number one, be optimistic. Tell them it's going to be okay. Tell them they're going to be okay. You're going to get through this together. Um, but memories are powerful. Like I just said, people are going to remember everything your brand does right now. So create some cool memories for them to have. Remind them of cool memories that you've done together. And if, if you've never done anything cool together, shame on you. You missed a real opportunity. But um, creating memories is really important right now. And sharing memories is really important right now. And finally, and this is maybe the most important thing, um, include your customers in decisions and give them choices. Uh, when anxiety is high, when in, when you know we're going through something we've never gone before, all people really want right now is to be heard. Honestly, it is the role of the brand to listen. You don't have to do everything that's suggested, you know, because when people are giving you suggestions, they don't have the full picture of everything. But it is so important that um, you listen because there will be gold in those suggestions. Um, and, and better than that, you're going to be creating a real bond with these people. So if you, you think about the five steps, be optimistic, use humor, patriotism, create and remind, uh, create and remind people of new memories and include people in discussions. They're all kind of the same thing. They all work together. You know, your customers are not one size fits all. So you need to offer something or a few things um, and, and try to touch as many people as possible. And the best way to know this is to listen to them. They will tell you what they want. You can decide whether you can give them to them or not, but it's way better to know from them what they want, what they need, what is going to resonate right now, because all those personas you've built um, you know, in your, your marketing factory are thrown out the window right now. All the rule books, they don't apply anymore. We've never been through something like this. So how you market to people now I'd say is a lot more of a 1950s, 1960s approach where everybody knew people's names. You knew when people were struggling. You, you know, it's like you, you, you had the, the, the small town feel, you know, everybody, you know, it's like you had one hardware store and all these different things. And the reason you have to go back to that is because, man, nobody wants to be growth hacked right now. Nobody wants to be, you know, retargeted 25 different places on the Internet right now. They want human connections. <coughs> that was a cough, but it wasn't a COVID cough. <coughs> Ugh. You guys may be witnessing symptom number one. I can't stress enough how important it is to be human right now. If I was using, my company had 
AI chatbots to do um, communications right now, like uh, like things like that. Absolutely, those are great. I love them. I put them aside for a week or two and have re real humans talking to people at every opportunity I could. Um, I saw a really great thing the other day with Laura. It's a Canadian fashion brand where they um, they sent an email out to people and it basically just said, um, we're not trying to sell you right now. We want to make sure you're okay. Here's an email we set up. I don't remember what it was. You know, I'll try to find it. But it was basically just email us and we'll check in on you. We'll give you a phone call a couple times a week. We'll just make sure you're okay because we're all at home and some people have families and, you know, people that they're quarantined with and some people don't. So they want it to be that, that person that, you know, helps you in this time. Uh, there's a, 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 a women's um, a bathing suit company <laughs> called Somersault. Um, amazing idea. They've replaced their customer service people with emotional support workers. You can just call them, tell them what's going on in your life, tell them you're worried, tell them you're not worried. They'll talk to you human to human. Um, right now, it is so important. I feel like I'm Gary V. Right now, it's so important to create human experiences as a brand because humanity is what's going to get us through. Human experiences are what people want right now, whether they know it or not. And it's what they're craving. So um, that's, you know, that's my crazy rambling right now of uh, how brands should be acting in this uh, time right now. Um, agree, disagree, leave it in the comments, talk to me, whatever uh, you want. I'm, I'm open, email me. I'm doing 15 minute consulting calls for anybody who wants it. Take advantage. Uh, you know, I'll put the link up on the screen. And uh, I, I really, truly, honestly, hope everyone's okay. I want us all to get through this. It's not fun if we don't all kind of win together. So please um, take my advice, take it to heart, run it through your own filter, figure out what you can use and what you can't use. I promise you, um, this is this is what you should be doing. I'm, I'm the smartest person in the world. And I'm, I'm you know, no joke. I know what I'm talking about. So again, uh, leave stuff in the comments. Let me know. I'll respond. Grab a 15-minute call with me. And uh, I, I hope to see everybody um, in person and in real life at the end of, uh, end of all of this. All right. Stay safe. Be well. I love you all.